Today's Alice lesson was about list searches. I'm going to show you how to write an arcade game called Whack-A-Mole. This is the initial Alice world for our game. Here's how the game is played. Little moles will pop up from holes in the top of this booth. The user tries to whack the mole by clicking it with the mouse before it drops out of sight. When a click occurs, our program will check to see if a mole was clicked. If so, a pop sound plays and the score increases. These actions are repeated until the game is over. This initial whack-a-mole game has 12 moles hidden under the booth. I'll move the booth up so you can see. In the world's methods, you can see that we have already added the pop mole method. This method takes an object parameter. We'll be passing a mole object in. Pop mole will simply move the mole up, wait a half second, and then move the mole down again. To keep score, we will fashion a rudimentary scorekeeper using two cylinder shapes from the gallery. The gray cylinder is called total score. A yellow cylinder called player score has been placed below the ground at the same location as total score. Each cylinder is a meter in height. Every time the user successfully clicks a mole, we want the yellow player score cylinder to move up one-tenth of a meter. Once the yellow player score cylinder is completely above ground, it has moved up ten times and the game is over. We have created a list of moles in this world. Here it is. It's called Moles and contains Mole 1 through Mole 12. In addition to the pop mole method, we've also added the code to my first method that causes moles to randomly pop up and down. While the yellow player score cylinder is not above the ground, meaning 10 moles have been whacked, a mole object is selected randomly from the mole list and passed into the pop mole method. We still have to add the code that detects when a mole has been clicked and increases a player score. Right now, the program will simply continue to show moles popping up randomly. Let's take a look. Clicking on the moles does nothing yet. How will we detect when the user has clicked on a mole? We'll create a mouse click event. When the mouse is clicked on anything in our game, we'll iterate through our list of moles and check whether the object clicked is one of them. Before we add our mouse click event, we need to create the method it will call. Let's create a new method called score. If a mole has been clicked, we'll move the player score cylinder up. We'll also play a sound. I have imported a pop sound into this world. It's in the properties tab under sounds. I'll open up sounds, and I can test the pop sound by clicking this arrow. Now I'll click the Methods tab and create a new method called Score. Our score method will take one object parameter. I'll click Create New Parameter and call my object, Object Clicked. I'll select the object type and click OK. Next, I'll drag up a For All in Order tile and select the moles list. I want to iterate through the list of moles to see if one was clicked. I'll drag in an If Else tile. The condition will be a comparison of each item from the moles list with the object clicked. I'll drag in the item from moles and use an equal comparison with object clicked. If our if condition is true, 
then a mole was clicked. So I'll drag in a do together tile and have the mole play the pop sound. I'll select play sound and select pop. Now I'll drag the yellow player score cylinder in and have it move up a tenth of a meter. I will also set the duration for 0.25 seconds. Now that our score method is complete, we can create our mouse click event. I'll click Create New Event and select when the mouse is clicked on something. So when the mouse is clicked on anything, we want to call our score method. And the object clicked is going to be the object under the mouse cursor when it was clicked. Remember, back in my first method, our while statement will stop looping when player score is above the ground. After 10 moles have been whacked, the while statement will become false and the game will be over. Let's try out the game. Player score is completely above the ground and the game has ended. Visit our website www.highschoolelearning.com for free interactive lessons and to find out about our fun online courses.